So have you ever been browsing the web and you see an image that you really like and you want to use that color palette? Firefox actually has a tool to make that really easy for you to do. And one of the ways to open that tool is by going into the menu and dropping down to the web developer menu and then going to the eyedropper. As you can see, it pops right up. As I'm scrolling, the hex color will change in real time so you can see all of the colors as I scroll. So you can be really meticulous and pick the right color that you want, especially on gradients, which I think this will be perfect for. If you want a, like a specific shade in that gradient. Another cool thing about this tool is that as you're scrolling, you can just hover over a color that you really like and then click it and as you can see, it says copied and, and there's the color you just chose. So another way to open up this tool is in Firefox DevTools. So if you're not familiar with Firefox DevTools, you can open it up in multiple ways. This is one way right here. Go down to Web Developer and then Toggle Tools and it pops up. Another way is if you're on Mac or Windows, it'll be the function F12 key to pop it up or control click and then inspect the element to open up the uh, Firefox DevTools. You can see the eyedropper tool is right here, or you can open it up like this by uh, going to the rules tab and then clicking on this little color bubble that pops up over uh, next to the hex number of the color and click on it and open up the eyedropper like that. A thing to keep in mind when uh, looking for this tool in the uh, Firefox DevTools is if you like to work in a very small window, as you can see, as I'm uh, resizing the window, the eyedropper tool will hide. So you have to be like really careful. So this is a cool tool to use if you're going through some design specifications or if you're browsing the web and you see an image that you really like and you want to pick the colors from that image and you just want to copy it real quick. This will be a quick and easy way to do it without using an external browser add-on. So I hope this video was helpful and um, if you have any more questions about any other dev tools, then uh, drop a comment below and we'll get to it.